So this is David Grosso's council member, Ward 5, in my neighborhood. Okay. What do you guys... Um, oh, we want him to come talk to us. And what do you want him to do? We just we would like to make sure that he really fights for $30 million for excluded workers. And that's all. We brought hungry moms and children from Who all are the excluded over the workers? So it's people who weren't able to get a federal subsidy from the federal government. Oh, so these are... Oh. They were excluded by the federal government and we're, we're working with the DC Council to make sure everybody is able to recover from COVID. Some of these families haven't single, seen a single cent of any any financial support to recover. Okay. All, everyone here has been excluded from that process. All we want to do is talk with him. He told he went to his window and said, go away. Oh, is it Grosso? Like, it's Grosso, yeah. Grosso. Yeah, you know he wants to legalize prostitution in DC. Well, um, so he won't give $30 million to excluded workers, but he wants to legalize prostitution. I don't comment on that. Honestly, we think any work is honorable. Right. But Let me show okay. And he, he, didn't come, he doesn't even come out? So David Grasso, the council member at large. Here we are in front of council member David Grosso's house where excluded family, those who are not eligible for federal aid, mainly immigrants. David Grosso. Okay, and she has the courtesy to come and hear your stories. So I'm hope that Antonio can you translate for her. council member I'm speaking for myself and I want to make sure that you know that someone is listening I am an immigrant originally myself all right so I, I have a good idea of what's going on right now I immigrated from Cameroon, tiny country in Africa. Very poor country, very in tiny. In Africa. From Africa. I moved over here. Started from the bottom. I did 
Yeah. What I could do, what I laid my hands on, I did. It was a, it was all about living. All right. I I understand what what's going on. The fear, the concern, the, the uncertainty about the future, financial hardship. I understand. Yo yo entiendo lo que está pasando económicamente. De todo lo, del miedo y de todo lo que está pasando en estos momentos con And I'm not going to tell anybody here <coughs> promise anything to anybody here. The most important is that you want to be heard. You want to make sure your voices is, are being heard. What I can do is is elevate these concerns at a higher level to people who have the authority to act or do something. Well, lo importante es que escuche que los se, no seamos escuchar o que sean escuchar para elevar la conciencia de todos a un otro nivel. Now, what I would do, because remember, this is a private neighborhood. You see, there are other people besides the council member. We want, este es un, este es como un lugar privado. we want to make sure that in the process of demanding what you you are demanding, we don't cause any trouble to other people. Or you don't get accused of anything. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right. That's exactly what I would do. Okay, just listen to what they have to say. Okay. Who wants to speak? Este esta este este mujer salió porque quiere una silla del consejo. Habla ella. In prometió. Can you promise that you're gonna talk to him? Will you talk to him? Listen. Here, I'm not going to make fake promises here. <laughs> what I can promise is that I can do the best I can to make sure he gets back to you. Okay, great. Thank now, you. Now, if he does not want to get back to you, he's an adult. He makes his decisions. Does okay. That make sense? Great, great. Thank you so much. So, right. does anybody want to tell their story before we go home? Hay alguien que quiere contar su historia? Just wait. You gotta listen. Yeah. If you're gonna run the cover. Answer. Answer. Quiere contar su historia. Gloria. Quiere contar su historia. Yeah. Dino. Dino. Yeah. Bueno, mi nombre es Gloria Gómez. My name is Gloria Gómez. Y nosotros somos inmigrantes también. We are immigrants. Tengo 20 años de estar en este país. Um, I'm, I'm been here for 20 years. Y nosotros hemos venido a trabajar. And Yo soy came, una vendedora ambulante. And we came to work. I'm a, like a, uh, a street vendor. Y nosotros todos los vendedores hemos sido muy ultrajados de la policía. Los han dado muchos tickets de mil dólares. Yes. Councilmember Grasso to understand why he needs to come out here and talk to us. Yeah. Maybe there's a way that you can get a phone number and we can have a yeah. time to yeah. communicate yeah. and meet yeah. so that you can understand yeah. more deeply what the issue that we're trying to convey here. Because mm -hmm. we just want to, to complete the mission okay. that we came to do. So we would love to talk to you. And you know what? If you want to knock, rush on, it, if you wanna knock on his door, great. Yeah. Y Yeah. Ella está diciendo que solo tenemos 30 minutos para hacerle entender a él que nos abre la puerta. Que están, vamos, esperando. ¡Nos queremos! 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 
Dalton in two seconds. No more than that. My name is Nishra Yunga. I'm running for ANC, please. Mm -hmm. He's not going to come out to talk to you. No. Oh, hang on, he's looking. He's looking. Yeah, I know. But that's not him. That's not that. Grasso. So if he's not here, why are we protect? Why are we yeah, he's here, he's here. He's oh, yeah. Not. I mean, you're your constituents. He has to come out. He's our elected leader. Come on, Ibashi. Mr. Ibashi, just two minutes. <laughs> Please come away. She's, he's not going to come. Seriously, he's not going to come. come. All right, all right. Come away. That's right, come on. Come Sophia. Support for that. All right, I'll support that. He's not going to come. The only concern, I'll tell you. Yeah. Turn it off. Turn it off. My only